And it's believed at one point in time, Mars had a, a much different environment, right? Uh, it is. It, it appears highly likely that Mars had liquid oceans, albeit a long time ago. You were the origin myth of the Dogon tribe? <laughs> no. There's a tribe in, I believe it's a tribe in, I forget what part of Africa, but they believe that they came from Mars and that there was a, okay. a civilization that left Mars, you know, many, many eons ago. And it, it's it's a really weird, uh, it's a really weird theory because they know some things about Mars. So uh, get, yeah, I'm pretty sure they didn't come from Mars. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure too. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's. Do I they have any spaceships? If they don't have any spaceships, then I'm like, I don't believe it. Well, if they do have a spaceship, I'll believe it. If you parked a spaceship, how many thousands of years? If you parked a metal spaceship, like if you left a cyber truck in the desert, yeah. How many thousands of years do you think it would be there for before it's gone? If it got, bur if it got buried in dirt, would find you'd find it even like a million years from now. A million. Yeah. Wow. Really. Well, you'd, what you'd find it's is stainless steel, so it'd have to be some sort of an alloy. It, it, it would. It, it's kind of like. Um, but iron wouldn't, right? Yeah, you, you, but you'd have something similar to like the, like fossils, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, like the fossils. Oh, okay. They they, they essentially uh, discolor the rock. So eventually, the, the, whatever the fossil is, and sometimes the fossils like an amber or something like that. That that's that where it, it still does survive more or less intact, but. I mean, there's fossilized, like dinosaur fossils and tree fossils. Um, that Essentially remineralized, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you'd, you'd, you'd see it like a cyber truck shape in the rock, basically. Oh. Uh, yeah. But that's it. You wouldn't find the actual cyber truck. Uh, but, so no. if they did have a spaceship and it came here 30,000 years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'd, we'd definitely find it, have evidence of it. Hmm. Well, not, I mean, if there's one spaceship. Maybe not, but if it was a lot of them, sure. That is the origin myth of the Dogon tribe, right? Am I getting that right? Mars specifically, it's a hidden star in the Sirius. Oh, it's somewhere else. System. Yeah. You cannot be serious. <laughs> <laughs> serious XM. It's uh, it's just v very strange when people have this uh, this uh, bizarre origin myth. Like I, I wonder who was the first one to tell them they came from stars. And when we eventually do, I mean, how bizarre. I, imagine if you're successful, we eventually do colonize Mars, and you're correct. We, Earth winds up through human folly or natural disaster getting wiped out. And there's only the colony on Mars. And that colony exists for 10, 20,000 years, and they have their origin myth that we all came from Earth. I mean, ultimately, that's going. If if this does happen, you do colonize Mars, and Earth does get destroyed, and if there a period of time takes place, like look at the the period, like at least the conventional timeline of the Great Pyramid, which is forty five hundred years ago. Five thousand years. Yeah. yeah. So that's not that much time. It's not that much time. No, I mean, if, so if it's nothing in the on the galactic time scale. Right. So if we're talking twenty, thirty thousand years from now on Mars, and people talk about Times Square. And what Earth used wow. to be like. I mean, it is. I think like there's some debate as like how do you say what the when did civilization start? And I'd say like probably the, from the first writing. Mm -hmm. um, and and the first the first writing is only 5,500 years old. Yeah, it's worth reading about the history of writing, but only 5,500 years, and that and um, one has to credit basically the ancient Sumerians who aren't around anymore. Uh, with the first writing, are you aware though that like there's hieroglyphs that depict uh, a history of Egypt that goes back far longer, maybe even thirty thousand plus years ago? But archaeologists dismiss it because they think that that's mythical. But uh, non-conventional archaeologists who believe in what's called the Younger Dryas Impact Theory, okay, and that uh, somewhere around eleven thousand eight hundred years ago, civilization was essentially all but wiped out by comet impacts. Um, okay. And that that is the reason why they keep finding these in, in, in insanely old 
huge structures, megalithic structures that are carved out of stone. Like okay. when you go to back to like Gobekli Tepe, which is eleven thousand six hundred years ago. Okay, that's that's an insanely old structure that they didn't even know people were capable of building until they discovered it in the nineteen nineties. So the conventional timeline of people, when you go to 11,600 years ago, it was just hunter-gatherers. But now that they have Gobekli Tepe with its uh, 3D carved uh, things. And have you seen Graham Hancock's uh, amazing series on Netflix called uh, Ancient Apocalypse? I uh, know. You should check it out. It's amazing. But it's about that. It's all about that there's a lot of physical evidence of an advanced civilization from far, far, far longer ago than we have conventionally okay. dated, which is ancient Sumer, which is we, we put it yeah. about 6,000 years ago. Yeah. The, like the first – it's it's difficult to date, to date it with precision, but or at least to within a few hundred years. But it, roughly 5,500 years, it, like if you say, like what is the oldest like stone tablet – yeah, um, because this is uh, in, in, you know it's, it, if if you're like an archaeologist, if you were to discover something older than that, you'd be very famous. You know, it's like it's like they really looked hard. Yeah, um, and fifty five hundred years uh, really is kind of the the, the for, if you say like any kind of evidence that that I've that I've seen that is actually substantial is is writing is fifty five hundred years old. Yeah, in terms of writing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, what they believe is that. There's very little left of this ancient civilization other than things like the pyramids, other than okay. things like the Sphinx. There's a geologist that really stuck his neck out. His name is Dr. Robert Schock from Boston University. And what he said was his theory is that there's deep water erosion all over the temple of the Sphinx where the Sphinx was carved out of. That is indicative of thousands of years of rainfall. And the last okay. time they had rainfall in the Nile Valley was around 9,000 B.C. So what he believes is – because back then, the, the whole Nile Valley was a lush rainforest and eventually receded into desert. Um, okay. Yeah. So the entire – that whole area, like even the Sahara, used to be rich rainforest. And it receded into what it is now. But – if you go back then, he believes that's when that thing was constructed. And he says yeah. the physical ge – the, the geologists look at it. And if, yeah. they, if he shows it to them in terms of like just shows an image of the erosion and doesn't tell them where it is, they'll – almost all of them will say that's water erosion from thousands well, of years of rainfall. I mean, if you say like, okay, civilization is like 9,000 years old, it's still nothing. Nothing. It, nothing. Yeah. Earth, yeah. Um, the geological edge of evidence suggests the Earth is about 4.5 billion years old. Um, so, um, human civilization has been around for roughly one millionth of Earth's existence. Yeah. Because we're basically nothing. And if, even if it's 10,000 years... It's even like, if it's 30,000 years ago, yeah, it's like, still nothing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pizza's here. Yeah. Fuck civilization. 